Hello great people, my name is Lily Trusyati I am from International Program on Science Education Faculty of Mathematics and Science Education Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia The Education University in Indonesia Today, I'm going to share to you about one kind of the international assessment standard namely TIMSS or TEAMS Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study Themes or trends in international mathematics and science study provide reliable and timely data on the mathematics and science study of students in United States. And these results also can compare with the other countries and this is can be focused on mathematics and science achievement. And these themes firstly conduct in 1995 and this is conduct in every four years and this is focused on students at grade 4 and grade 8. Not only test item package, teams also provides an additional questionnaire. Questionnaires are given to students, their teachers and school principal for gathering the information about the background context for learning. Theme sponsored by IEA and this is conducted in United States by National Center for Education Statistics. What is the aims of themes? The study assess achievement in mathematics and science among pupils and also provides important background information that can be used to improve teaching and learning in mathematics and science. Themes 2015 still focus on paper-based assessment but in Teams 2019, this is as the marking to the come to the transitions to digitalize so namely E-Teams by using computer-based test assessment In Teams 2019, focus on problem solving and inquiry or PSI for both and 8 grades in mathematics and science. It teams 2019 provide simulate a real world or laboratory situation in which students could integrate and apply process skill and content knowledge. This is the example of test item in teams. The test item in teams provide problem solving and inquiry or PSI and for example this one student can click the dependent and independent variable of the research and this is uh, can use as the scientific method student can collect the data and then process the data and then they can show by using grab and the end also student can watch the video that embedded in the test item so this video can support the student to answer the test item the release assessment question can be downloaded in official website of Teams. For example, this one you can directly download for 1995 up to 2011 test item package on mathematics and science for both four and grad uh, students. And also, this result can benefit for us as educators. For example, the first one to inform discussion about the school school curriculum in mathematics and science to explore the link between what we teach and how to measure this concept and also to design for our own assessment based on our needs and the last to reflect on of the students uh, performance and compare with the another students in another countries as mentioned before, these teams not only provide the test item package but also provide additional questionnaire to get the, the information. And you can also download the example of the questionnaire from official website of teams. For example, this one you can download from 1995 up to 2019. And this explore with the questionnaires for students, teachers, and school. Let's talk about the method and procedure specifically for Teams 2019. 
You can directly download this material from official website of Teams and to sum up, at least there are three activities for developing Teams assessment. The first one is assessment development will be elaborated in chapter 1 up to chapter 3 and the second activity is data collection procedures will be elaborated in chapter 4 up to chapter 8. The last activity is analysis and reporting and this activity will elaborate in chapter 9 up to chapter 18. Let's discuss the science practice in Teams 2019. There are five practices of scientific inquiry in Teams 2019. The first one asking questions based on observations. The second one generating evidence. And the third one, working with data. The fourth one, answering the research questions. And the last one, making an argument based on evidence. Theme 2019 is constructed by two domains, namely content and cognitive domain. And this is different between fourth and eighth grades. Let's see, this is the content domain. For fourth grade, we will be focused on life science, physical science, and earth science. But for eighth grade, we will focus on biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. And for cognitive domain, there are three domains: is uh, focus on knowing, applying, and reasoning. And this is different percentage for fourth and eighth grades. The first cognitive domain is knowing. This domain will be assessed students' knowledge of facts, relationship, processes, concept, and equipment. And this domain consists of three indicators, namely recall or recognizing, and the second describe, and the last provide example. The second domain is applying. This domain requires students to engage in applying knowledge of facts, relationship processes, concept, equipment, and method in some context situations. There are five indicators for these domains. Number one, compare, contrast, or classify. Number two, relate. Number three, using models number four interpret information and number five explain the last domain is reasoning this domain requires students to engage in reasoning to analyze data draw conclusions and extend their understanding to the new situations there are eight indicators of reasoning cognitive domains. Number one, analyze. Number two, synthesize. Number three, formulate questions or hypothesize or predict. Number four, design investigation. Number five, evaluate. Number six, draw conclusion. Number seven, generalize. And the number eight is justify. And this is the information about the team 2023. You can uh, download this information from official websites. And this is, we can see there are some key features that will be appear in Teams 2023. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, this presentation can be benefit for you and share to others. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.